correct these issues. The twin focus, the minister without portfolio in the office of the prime minister, Dr. Horace Chang, centered on improvements to water management and delivery systems, as well as housing. When anybody else can go home after a hard day's work, but Paul Shaw is there having to endure water lockouts. When they don't have a way for the crack of dawn to catch water, when they don't have to contend with sewer in their backyards, all on their streets, when they don't have to block the roads for lack of water, when they don't have to have no irrigation for the crops and can find jobs to buy their homes, then we'll foster a society in which people will feel that he wasn't being figurative, with suggestions being made to list the National Water Commission on the stock exchange. That Jamaicans should have a real stake in their assets. Therefore, a significant amount of a company like the Water Commission could be put on the stock market. This does not mean absolute privatization of the NWC. The public, represented by the government, will have control interests, but individual Jamaicans will have a stake in the company. He argues that the company would gain greater access to less costly multilateral funding and grants as a result. He also called for greater continuity within the ranks of the currently state-owned entity. The Water Commission company has a cash flow of some $27 billion per year and a projected investment program to ensure reliability of some $37 billion Jamaican dollars, $3 billion US dollars. So it will increase or decrease depending on the valuation. Its management, its management and policy direction cannot be subject to a continuous five-year election cycle as has been the practice. However, Dr. Chang was not as magnanimous or forgiving when he spoke of the need for reform in the housing agency of Jamaica. So we have to take some very dramatic steps at the housing agency. The audit reports show some glaring and embarrassing maladministration in the financial sector. Dr. Chang provided anecdotal evidence of the agency's apparent dysfunction. The chief engineer of the company, full-time employed, paid a very decent salary, in, in fact in excess of six million a year, turned out to be the full-time project engineer on the Royals and Project in Ligrian, which actually collapsed. It was the full-time staff engineer of the military day who was employed here for over a year. The housing agency has suffered close to $3 billion in losses over the past three years and is predicted to lose a further $900 million in 2016. Joel Froskill, CBN News. There was some encouraging news for family and loved ones of the 15-year-old Alpha Academy schoolgirl who was recently shot in the head while traveling in a taxi on her way to school. After being in a coma and undergoing surgery, the young girl took the time to save funds for her recovery process thus far. Newswatch got a hold of a voice note making the rounds said to be hers according to reliable sources. Thank you everybody, family. Everyone.